an aquarium pump from eBay. And there's two things that caught my attention about this. One is the rather nice clear case. Let me just shine a light into this so you can actually see the effect here, that it is quite nice inside. It looks very technical. It also has a little switch on the side that lets you choose two settings. And I wondered how have they implemented that? Is it going to be a capacitor tap on the uh, magnet or is it going to be a uh, capacitor in series as they sometimes do? So this unit is called an SB-9903A. Can't remember how much it cost, it wasn't that expensive. It probably grossly exaggerated the air output as they do. Let's plug it in. So I've got the hoppy here and we'll plug it in. No, and we'll put it down its little rubber feet. Um, about 3.8 watts, 17 milliamps, 0.9 power factor. Let's change that little switch at the side. Much quieter. It uh, goes down to about half, 2 watts, 10 milliamps and 0.7 power factor. Okay, let's take it apart. Screwdriver. My guess is that just because uh, it's probably the cheapest way to do it, I'm not actually sure how that would affect it. A diode, maybe? That would affect the way the magnet swung. I'll show you what it's like when it's open. I'll run it when it's open. That's the best bet. Assume it doesn't all just completely fall to bits. That is just trim. Oh, it looks nicer without the trim. Uh-oh. Any hidden fixings? Oh, I have a sneaky feeling this thing is going to stop it coming out. Right, tell you what, I'll just use brute force and ignorance. Oh, there we go. Does that pop? Oh, it does pop out. Right, okay, that's useful to know. Here is what's inside. Two connections going to the transformer. And there's a diode across this switch. So all it's doing is it's switching between direct power and going through the diode. So let's uh, see what it looks like when we switch it between the two. So that's currently in its diode setting. And that little thing, I'll zoom down this. It's uh, showing you in slow motion, which is quite nice, because uh, the camera frame speed is actually different to the mains frequency, so it's uh, showing you a sort of slow motion effect. Let's turn this off, so I don't get a wallop. Uh, turn that one to the full setting. Oh, blimey. Uh, let's just uh, gingerly hold it like this. It, uh, it doesn't really affect... I thought it might affect the direction that thing swung. Um, in the sense, what normally happens with these... The trans the transform well it's a, it is almost like a transform but the magnet electromagnet here uh, attracts and repels this magnet and as it does so it basically pushes the diaphragm the pump. Let's see if we can get this out and take a look in here. This is going to slide out I think. It's got a little rubber bung. Is that kind of secured in it? It's kind of secured in. It's going to come out. Also, this is secured at the back here. Let's take it all to bits. That's what we do here. Oh, actually, you know what? It's uh, it's showing secrets already. That's quite interesting. Right, tell you what, I shall lift this up. Here it comes. So we've got a diaphragm at the back and a little chamber and there is the one-way valve. There's two one-way valves. Oh, and they're little bungs. Yeah, let me see if I can get you, get you close to this. I shall focus onto this, and we'll zoom closer like this, and I'll show you with a bit of light. Uh, can you see the little flap there that they've just bunged in? They've actually just jammed in with a rubber plate. And likewise, if you look at the other side there, you can see the uh, the other side of that other flap, which is also just trapped in. That is very, very simple way of making things. I feel the need to remove one of those little rubber bungs and see what the construction is like. It is, it's just a little rubber bung. And is it a loose rubber flap? Yes, it is. Just a very simple, super thin rubber flap uh, placed in there like that. And then a rubber bung jammed in just to hold it in place, like that, if that was the right way around, and squished down. That's reasonable enough. 
And to seal the other side of it, just because it's just to make it as simple as possible, one side is that pumping diaphragm with the magnet uh, swinging to actually pump it. Um, and the other side is just pressed against this rubber plate here to seal it. That is very interesting. Let's put it back down there. Uh, so that's it. It's the little, it's a standard thing that you find in these. I've noticed uh, there's another one somewhere that I've misplaced and uh, they seem to adjust. They seem to use a standard coil in some models that may even be universal for 120 volts. But then in the, say, the European ones, the 220, 230, 240, they actually put a capacitor and sears the coil and that's how they use just one coil for them all. That's also a technique used in some uh, time switches where they put a resistor and sears the coil and it just means they can use a, a cheaper coil, possibly a coarser round one. But that's quite interesting, nice construction. I do like the clear case that makes it kind of appealing uh, when you can see stuff inside. So that's what these uh, pumps are like inside. Very simple construction, and the air outlet adjustment is simply a diode in the series of that, so that it only operates at about half power.